Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everyone this morning? <laughs> Interesting day. I have been kicked out of my kitchen. So, I have a munchkin who is making me a birthday cake today. And I have been told I am not allowed in the kitchen. But I'm Chef Dad. And then she's like, get out. So there we have it. Um, all right. I was, this morning, I was thinking about the power that a dad has to create. And what do I mean by that? I mean that we have the ability to create, to instill, to plant, you know, sow and fertilize water and reap a harvest from what we create in our kids, on our job, in our, with our wives, or our, our, for moms, chef moms, for dad. The point is that we have this power to create as human beings, but we have this power to create in particular as dads. And a lot of men are seriously frustrated. That's why we have young men who are incapable of taking on the role and the responsibilities of being a dad because they've not seen that done. And so there are a lot of times, speaking for myself, when I needed my dad to show me what the next step was. And I've had to learn a lot of things myself and from watching other men because my biological dad died when I was five. And then there was a five-year gap before my mom remarried my, who became, the guy who became my stepdad, and he was around for 25 years. And then when I was 35 and getting my head screwed on straight, he unfortunately died also. So there have been times when I've not had a solid father figure in my life, and that delayed me and forced me to learn how to do things myself. However, how much easier could it have been for someone to just take my hand and say, do it this way, man, right? So that is part of the power of a dad. Remember, moms, by and large, typically nurture and dads take action. I'm not saying moms don't take action. And I'm not saying dads can't learn to nurture. I've had to learn to nurture my daughters when my wife was ill, okay? there are th When I was critically ill, and near death, I really began to appreciate that nurturing role, okay? What I'm saying is that dads have a power to create, to instill, to impart. Now, I happen to believe that that comes from God, our Father, our Creator of the universe. There is a... There is an enormous satisfaction in, in investing and seeing the results or the product of that investment. It's, it's, it's incalculable how powerful that impact can have because one person can affect another person and that person could affect 20. And then the next person could affect 2,000. Right? We don't know exactly what's going to happen. We talk about a, a man, a story in the Bible, there's a guy named Ananias. He's in Damascus, and Saul is out of is heading out of Jerusalem. And according to this story, he's going to kill the Christians. Right? These Jews who have fallen away from the faith. He's heading to Damascus with direct orders, permit, papers. He's on a mission to murder, to bring back to justice, whatever it takes, and he's got troops with him. Okay. And. He has an encounter with God on the road. He ends up being blind, gets to Damascus. Ananias lays his hands on him, and the scales of his eyes, as it's described, come off, and he can now see again. But that happened, I think there was three days, but you know, feel free to look it up. It's in the book of Acts. The point is that he's like that for a period of time. Ananias, one man who is a righteous man, a good man, a man of faith, lays his hands on him, bam, done. Billions, billions of people have been affected 
throughout the course of the last 2,000 plus years because of Ananias. He's not recorded anywhere else in Scripture. If he hadn't done that to Paul, Saul never would have become Paul. And we wouldn't have almost the entire New Testament. It is what it is, okay? So, one man's prayer affects billions. You have no idea what you are sowing into your children. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And when you find ugly, take responsibility, take ownership, and apologize if need be. Pull that thing out. Work at it at the root. Prayer, conversation, having a coffee, getting your kid a donut, and sit down and chill and get to know them, get to learn them, and help them grow. I am not perfect at this. I am still figuring this crap out. But it's the greatest honor and responsibility I have in my life is to sow into these kids and into my wife and help them and guide them to the degree I can. And when I don't get something, I go to my wife and I put my head on her shoulder and I cry. I, I get on, I, she'll be sitting on the sofa. I'll lay down on the sofa, put my head on her lap and just let her run her hand through my hair. Why? Because there are times I just need mom. I need someone to nurture me, right? There's a certain level of strength that I have and there's a certain level of need that I have and that is normal for everyone. And it varies from day to day, moment to moment, month to month, year to year, okay? And there are times when we're absolutely on the mountaintop and there are times when you're absolutely in the valley of the shadow of death, period can't tell me otherwise because I know it's true. As Ronan, as, as hard as you can be, you will still have moments of weakness. So, along those lines, <laughs> I was thinking about a couple of scriptures, and I'd never considered them in this way before, but I thought maybe it will help. At the end of the third chapter of Ephesians, verses 20 and 21, it says, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask or think, and here's the key part that struck me, according to the power that works within us, to him be the glory in the church in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever, amen, according to the power that works within us. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. That is also the power of our innate power of creativity that God has put in us since creation. If you want to say since the garden, whatever. Okay? We have the power to create. If we didn't, how could we come up with companies like Google? How could we come up with Chopin and all of his work? How could we look at Rembrandt or Da Vinci and all of their work? How could we come up with ways to develop different breeds of dogs. I used to raise wire hair fox terriers when I was a kid. Okay? So how could you do this if you couldn't think about creating something? If you say we come from apes, cool. But by and large, rudimentary tools are all they have. So the level of creativity is limited. But brutes and people are different. We have an innate ability to create. And creation is a way that we express that. Okay? Now, the King James, that was not the King James Version, the old classic King James. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. In the New American Standard, that comes off as, for God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but of power and love and discipline. Okay? So first of all, fear causes timidity, worry, doubt, anxiety, all of that stuff. All of that baggage that comes with you. And a sound mind is discipline. So having discipline every day to get certain things done overcomes fear.
it overcomes it. It beats it back with a stick. Okay? Power, love, and discipline. If you have fear, and I have had plenty of fear, if you have fear, if you have doubts, if you have anxiety, if you have worries, I'll give you a classic example. One of my kids gets hospitalized. Guess what? I'm as stoic as I can be on the outside, and I absolutely know on the inside I'm not loving that situation. Not loving it. Okay? But I'm going to stand up, I'm going to dad up, and I'm going to do what I need to do, which is take care of my kid. And if it means that I have to confront a doctor, file a complaint against them, which I've done, I will do it because I'm going to stand up for my kid. And I've had actually doctors come and say, whoa, it was not my intent. I'm like, cool, let's talk. And I'm very straightforward with them because it's my kid. <laughs> okay. So, you know, if it means that I need to take on the superintendent of a school district, done it. If it means that I have to take on the leadership of a medical facility because they're not doing the right thing by a family member, done it. We'll do it again. Anybody who has a problem with that can grow up. Okay? I'm going to defend the rights of the people that I love. All right? If it, I mean, I've, I've gone to bat for team members of mine who deserved a promotion and needed that promotion and told them, told their boss, they needed to get a promotion. Done it. So, creation is within all of us. We have the ability to sow into other people. We have the ability to create responses and answers that can affect the lives of billions of people, potentially. You just need to dad up and get it done. Do your best every single day. Look for new ways to find new answers, new solutions. Don't bury your head in the sand. This world is only getting more and more wicked every day. You can do this. Okay? So, for all the people that watch these videos, this podcast of mine, thank you. You guys are amazing. And I love getting the messages and the comments, the likes, the shares, the subscribers. It's, it's fantastic, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful that this has the impact it does on so many people's lives. Um, please consider sponsoring Dad Quote of the Day, and supporting Dad Quote of the Day with some of our merchandise and whatnot. We've got mugs and shirts and hoodies and all that, but some of these profits that we have go to support families that are confronting homelessness because we know, what's that, we know what that's like. And because of that, we have a, a soft spot for dads who are actively kicking their butt and finding ways to get things done. Uh, and so we help four organizations specifically to help them achieve their mission by getting them the supplies and things that they need to make an impact, again, in hundreds of families' lives. So thank you. Thank you for all your support. If you have any questions about us, want to know more about us, go to dadquoteoftheday.com or dqotd.com. Follow us there. Thanks very much and take care. Let me bless you and send you on your way. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you for strength, for creativity. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for giving me the insights that I've had, and I pray that you will bless the dads and the moms and the kids that watch these videos, and you will strengthen them and you will encourage them that you will help them tonight to find new and creative solutions and inventions to their situations and to bless the, the lives of so many others. In Jesus' name, amen. Take care. Catch you later. Bye-bye.